You're at Aaron and Cleo's wedding. Here's Aaron standing alone. Which of these ladies is his wife to be? It's this one. Look, there's her name, Cleo, on her bracelet. Three girls are fighting over a doll. It belongs to one of them, but each of the three says it's hers. Who do you think the real owner of the doll is? It must be this girl. Look, she and the doll have matching outfits. It's Halloween, and some people got dressed as ghosts, but there's one real ghost among them. Who do you think it is? Look, this person doesn't cast a shadow. Three friends went camping. Two of them are real people, and one is a robot. Take a closer look at the photo of them and tell me who you think the robot is. It must be this guy. Take a look at the footprints each of them left. This guy's footprints are actually wheel prints, which is not very common for a real human. Amanda and her mom are participating in a game show. It's the final round, and Amanda's task is to figure out which of these two women is her mom. Both women are wearing masks, so Amanda cannot see their faces. Can you help her? Pay attention to the woman's hair color. Amanda is redheaded. This woman has red hair too, so I'd bet it's her mom. In any case, Amanda must know what color her mom's hair is, so she's safe here. Local police got information that their little town had been invaded. Officers started walking around asking for people's ID cards. I'll show them to you one by one, and you must decide who looks suspicious. For example, this one. What's your verdict? Look at this guy's birth year. No, it's definitely not a real ID. Here's another one. What can you say about this lady? Look at her place of residence. It's just the name of some place. There's no mention of a state or country. Nope, this person is suspicious too. The next person is this young lady, and here's her ID card. Do you see anything suspicious? She seems fine to me. I'd let her go. Another one. What about this person? This time, pay attention to this photo. All document photos should have a white background. This one isn't an officially issued ID card, so I'd say he's suspicious. I have the last suspect for you. What do you say? Is there anything we should be concerned about? No, he's okay. Let him go. A rich lady, Mrs. Reed, was looking for a person to clean her house every week. She invited three candidates and asked them why they wanted the job. Amelia said she wanted to earn some money during the summer to travel to another state with her friends. Colton said his mother forced him to do something in the summer so that he didn't play video games all day long. Danica said she was totally broke and needed money to survive. When they left, Mrs. Reed saw that her diamond necklace was missing. She guessed that one of the candidates had stolen it, so she invited them again. Take a look at them and figure out who the thief is. It's Danica. She said she was broke. The last time she was there, she was wearing old clothes. 
But look at her now. She has new clothes, gold earrings, and an iPhone. She must have stolen the necklace and sold it. On a snowy winter day, police got a call that one of the houses in the neighborhood had been robbed. A detective visited people living there, but everyone said that they'd been staying at home because of the weather. Still, the detective understood who was lying. This person became the main suspect. Who is it? It must be the person living in this house. He said he'd been staying at home, but he obviously parked his car after the snow had already built up on the driveway. So, the car was away for a while. Why would he lie? Another day, another crime. Mr. Spencer, a businessman, was robbed. He said he'd had a heavy safe full of cash in his bedroom. Now it was gone, and he was worried that he didn't have any proof that he'd ever possessed it. Still, a detective said that he believed the man and asked for details. How did the detective know the businessman wasn't a liar? Look, there's dents on the floor. Something really heavy was indeed standing there for a long time. There was another robbery in a small town. And the main suspect was Damon, the victim's old friend turned enemy and ex-business partner. The next day, on August 7, the police paid Damon a visit. He wasn't at home. When they reached him by phone, Damon said he was on vacation in Greece and that he left a week before. The police examined his apartment. When the detective looked around, he realized Damon had left recently. How did he understand it? Look at the calendar on the wall. It says August 6th, which is the day of the crime. If Damon had really left the week before, his calendar would date back to the day when he departed instead of yesterday. In a small town, someone had stolen all the chicken nuggets from a local store. The store owner called the police and they started the investigation. There were three suspects. Mr. Jones said that he'd already been at work at that time. Mr. Collins said that his family was vegan, so he wouldn't be interested in chicken nuggets. Mr. Martin said the police had just woken him up. Who's a liar? The thief is Mr. Collins. He said his family was vegan, but look, they keep chickens. That's suspicious. Someone stole a bike in a small town, and the police were working hard to find it. There were three main suspects, all of them teenagers. Ava said that she'd been out with her friends and had just returned home. Brian said that his mom had made him paint a fence, and that's what he'd been doing. Caleb said he'd been playing with his brother in the garden. Who lied? Brian, look, the fence is red, but the grass next to it doesn't have any stains, so the fence isn't likely to be freshly painted. Aiko and Della were sisters. Aiko was broke. She asked Della to lend her some money, but Della refused. Several minutes later, Della went downstairs, and Aiko noticed there was a $20 bill on Della's desk, so she took it, with an intention to return it one week later. When Della came back and asked where the bill was, Aiko said that a gust of wind had suddenly blown inside and the bill had flown out the window. Della didn't believe her and asked her to give the money back. How did Della realize it was a lie? If a gust of wind had blown into the room, nothing would have flown out of the window it would have been swept from the table to the floor, but not the other way around. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. So, riddle me this. Amanda loved cats very much. One day, she visited an acquaintance and met her lovely Persian cat. Amanda asked her acquaintance how old the cat was. Well, in two years, Luna will be twice as old as she was five years ago. Amanda nodded and continued petting the cat. And did you understand how old the animal was?
Luna is 12 years old. That's an old kitty. Look at these three friends. They seem to have gotten into a trap. They're hanging upside down in the air with their legs tied. On the ground, under the blonde girl's head, there are several venomous snakes. Under the head of the girl with red hair, a fire is burning. And on the ground, under the guy, there are a couple of scorpions. How can these guys escape? See that black cloud with lightning? It's going to start raining. The rainwater will put out the fire under the girl with red hair. And look, the girl has a knife tucked under her belt. She can cut the rope tying her legs. And when she's on the ground, she can help the other two. Hannah was running a marathon. Right before the finish line, she outran the person who was running in second place. The woman was happy she was going to win. But in a few seconds, she got very disappointed. Why? Hannah was still the second best. She was faster than the second person, not the first. Olivia was a secret agent on a mission. At one point during the mission, she had to get into a room with ancient artifacts. But to enter, she needed to choose between two doors. In front of them, there were two guards. Soon, Olivia realized that one guard always lied and the other always told the truth. One door was safe to open, and the other hit a terrible danger. The secret agent could only ask one guard one question to figure out which door she needed to go through. What question should it be? Olivia should ask, if I asked the other guard which door was safe to open, what would he say? Both guards will point at the door that hides some danger. The lying guard, because he's, well, always lying. And the guard who tells the truth, because that's what the lying guard would tell Olivia. So the woman just needs to open the other door. Liza was working as a teaching assistant at a college. One day, she had to look after a group of students who were writing an exam. Liza knew some of them were going to cheat. And indeed, soon after the exam started, the girl spotted one person who was cheating. Who is it? It's the guy in the back of the classroom. He's got the answers written on his ruler. Can you figure out which of these two watches is real and which is just a toy? The watch on the left is a toy. Look at its minute hand. It's too long and won't be able to pass all the way around the watch face. In a small village, there were four people who were suspected of being werewolves. One night, the village held a meeting to decide which of them was the monster. Here is what the suspects look like. This person has long, sharp fingernails and is known for being able to run extremely fast. This person has long, sharp teeth and is known for being able to see in the dark. This person has wild, unkept hair and is known for being able to jump high. And this person has a deep, growling voice and is known for being able to smell things from far away. Can you figure out which of them is the werewolf? Suspect B is the werewolf. The description of long, sharp teeth and being able to see in the dark are both typical characteristics of werewolves in mythology and folklore. While the other suspects have unusual traits as well, they are not necessarily associated with werewolves. Joe has a friend, Lucas, who never answered any questions directly. Once, Joe sent Lucas a message inviting him to join their common friends in a cafe. Lucas's answer was kind of weird. Sorry, no money. J-O-B-I-N-J-O-B. Luckily, Joe knew his friend well enough to understand what he meant. But can you figure it out?
Lucas meant he had no money because he was in between jobs. <laughs> Look at this bizarre wedding. What do you think? Why are these people, who are about to get married, wearing black balaclavas? Look, there are cameras on the walls. This couple must be hiding their identities. Three friends went for a walk in a forest. People said a wizard lived there, and he wasn't a kind, friendly person. But our guys didn't believe these rumors. Everyone knows magic doesn't exist. Suddenly, a wall of fire blocked their way. Look at the things the friends have and try to figure out what they can use to put the fire out. They could use this bucket to bring some water from that puddle, but it wouldn't be enough to put out such a large fire. This hose is useless, there's nothing to attach it to. The friend should choose this spade and use soil to put the fire out. You're in a forest. Suddenly, it starts raining. You notice a cave and hide there. But as soon as you get inside, the opening behind you closes. There are three tunnels in front of you, and one of them leads to freedom. But the first tunnel is full of crocodiles that haven't eaten in two years. In the second tunnel, there is a hungry lion that hasn't had any food in two weeks. And the third tunnel leads to a scorching hot desert. Which tunnel should you choose? You should wait until the desert cools down at night and follow the third tunnel. As for crocodiles, yes, these animals can indeed live without food for up to two years. Lions can also survive for two weeks without eating anything. But before you get a chance to leave the cave, you hear some deafening noise. It's a landslide! The tunnels end up blocked, but you now see three other passages. A fire-breathing, wait, is it a dragon? is guarding the first passage. The second passage is filled with hundreds of poisonous cacti growing there. Their spines are covered with an extremely toxic substance. And in the third tunnel, you can see the red eyes of some very hungry wolves. Which tunnel can lead you to safety? You should choose the tunnel with the cacti. At least they can't move. And if you're careful, you'll be able to walk around the cacti without touching their spines. One morning, Donna came to the office and found a box of chocolates on her desk. There was also a strange note. Hmm, can you help Donna understand who presented her the sweets? Her secret admirer is Ryan. Those are not dates. The number actually means the needed letter in the name of the month. A man told his boss, Don't take your planned flight today. I had a dream last night that if you do, it might end badly. Your plane will crash. The boss fired the man. Can you figure out why? The man was a night watchman. He should have been on duty the previous night, not dreaming. Jacob and Mark decided to go on a camping trip. Look at the things they're going to take with them and say what they should leave at home. A small hint, try to think outside the box. Look, a tent. Game, rice, lamp. All of these words consist of four letters. But a chair? This word has five letters. The friends should leave it at home. A man went around the world in a ship, and still he was always inside of land. How is it possible? The man was in a spaceship orbiting Earth. 
Hannah's birthday is on January 23rd, but she always celebrates it in the summer. Why? Hannah lives in the Southern Hemisphere. There, January is one of the hottest months of the year. Hey, nice job! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. I've prepared an animal test for you. I'll show you a picture, and your task is to say which animal it is. Sounds easy? Let's see. Don't forget to keep score, and in the end, we'll show you how well you did. We'll start with something easy, and then it'll get harder. The first one, this animal. Who is it? What do you think? Of course, it's an elephant. Elephants are the biggest land animals, and their trunks are incredibly sensitive. And Asian elephants can pick up a peanut and even shell it. Next up, this one here. Who is it? This one is for sure a turtle. Did you know that it's not DNA that determines the gender of newborn turtles? It's the temperature in the nest. If the temperature is cool, the hatchlings will be male. If the temperature is warm, the hatchlings will be female. Who do you think this cutie is? It's a penguin. Humans give flowers to their loved ones to show affection and appreciation. But penguins give rocks to each other. Also, penguins can control the blood flow in their feet. That's why they don't freeze. I know you know this one, so shoot your shot. Of course, it's a squirrel. These guys take their food seriously. They can find it beneath a whole foot of snow. Also, they can fake bury a nut to dupe potential thieves. Still, they lose about 25% of their buried food to other squirrels. What about this animal? Do you recognize it? Yes, it's a fox. Did you know they can make around 40 different sounds? Another well-known animal. Who is it? It's a giraffe. Their coat patterns are unique. There are no two giraffes with the same pattern. Also, they only drink once a few days, even when the water is nearby. What is this animal? That's a camel. They can live for weeks without a single drop of water, even more than giraffes. Just for comparison, a human can only last three days without water. But when camels do drink, they can drink around 40 gallons in a go. You must know this one well. Who is it? It's a hippo, of course. They really love grass and can eat like 80 pounds of it in one night. And yes, they sleep during the day and get active at night. This one, what is it? That's a rhino for sure. Turns out, rhinos have quite poor eyesight. If you stay 100 feet away from them and don't move, they won't see you. But they do have a strong sense of smell, so this helps. Also, they love mud. They roll in it to get a protective layer that protects them from insects and keeps them cool. Who do you think this one is? It's a skunk. Did you know that they are immune to snake venoms and can even eat dangerous snakes? What about this cute animal? Do you recognize it? It's a harp seal. And this white furry coat makes them one of the most adorable animals on the planet. But the coat doesn't last long. Harp seals only have them until they're about six weeks old. What about this? What is it? It's a scorpion. 
These guys are actually older than the dinosaurs. Also, they can live a year without food, and they glow in the dark. What about this big guy? Do you know who he is? That's a moose. Did you know that they only live in places where there is snow in winter? Tell me what animal this one is. It's a wolf. Turns out they're born completely blind and deaf. Of course, later it changes. A grown wolf can hear what's going on six miles away. Also, they have around 200 million smell cells. What about this animal? Do you know what it is? Orangutan. They're very intelligent and they even use tools like sticks and even self-made gloves out of leaves when dealing with thorny branches. I know you know this one well, so just hit it. This is a meerkat. They live in deserts and they don't need water to live. They get all the needed moisture from the insects and other foods they eat. What about this one? Do you know its name? Tasmanian Devil. Their bite is so hard that they can crush bones. They also like to scream loudly and they do that to scare off other animals. And a fun fact, they store their fat in the tails. Next up, this one. Who is it? That's a squid, of course. Squids have three hearts. Also, they eat other squids that are smaller. Can you recognize this fish? It's an electric eel. Their shock is so powerful that it can knock off a horse. Also, they have poor eyesight, so they have to release a weak electric signal to navigate. What do you think this cute animal is? It's a red panda. Their diet is 97% bamboo. The other 3% include eggs, flowers, and small mammals. What do you think this is? It's a warthog. These guys are vegetarians, and even though they're strong, they prefer to run over fighting. Also, they enjoy being groomed, so they allow monkeys to do that. Okay, here's the next one for you. Does it look familiar? It's a porcupine. Their name actually means thorn pig. They're actually shy creatures and good swimmers. As for their quills, it's actually a myth that they can shoot them at predators. However, they're easily detached. So if you ever touch them, the quills are likely to stick to your hand. Who is this? It's a groundhog. They sleep all winter and are also impressive builders. Their homes can be as long as 60 feet. This animal must be quite easy to guess. Who is it? Of course, it's a platypus. Did you know that they are lethally venomous? But no worries, no case was yet recorded. Okay, what about this guy? This is an aardvark. He's actually the first word in an English dictionary. They live on the African continent and they don't walk fully on their feet, just on their toes. Next up, this one with crazy eyes. What's your call? This one is called Ai Ai and it's native to Madagascar, but it doesn't have a good reputation there. Some native people believe that Ai Ai's bring bad luck. What about this cute guy right here? That's a prairie dog. Don't let their cute looks trick you. They're quite fierce. Also, they are very intelligent and have advanced vocabulary. 
Not only can they warn their buddies that a human is approaching, what about this bird? This is an okapi. They belong to the giraffe family and they only live in one country now, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Humans only discovered them a bit over a hundred years ago, in 1901. No, it's not a Pokemon, it's an actual animal that exists in real life. What's it called? That's a nudie branch. It's a sea slug living in shallow waters all over the oceans. Another easy one for you. Who is it? Yes, it's a mink. Just like cats, they purr when they're happy. Do you know who this is? That's a margay. No one knows for sure how many of them there are globally. What's this cute animal? It's a pika. They're related to rabbits, but they're pikas. They actually have tails, but you can't see them because they're hidden under the fur. Last question, probably the hardest one. What is this? It's called a tardigrade. It's a microscopic animal that's been on Earth for 600 million years and have survived through the Earth's all big five extinction events and will likely survive any apocalypse. So, how many did you get right? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.